Okay, um, kind of a progress report. I'm doing a two-part epoxy seal coat uh, armor <laughs> for this floor in the shop. Um, I have acid stripped it twice today, etched it to get a rough surface. And the reason I had to do it twice was thinking I was being a good boy, which I suppose I was. I bought this. Safer, which is supposed to be, you know, lower fumes, everything else. When you get down to it, it's dilute. Um, and it's too dilute. Um, bottom line is it wasn't cutting through the hardener seal that had been put on to, for the floor to cure. So I ended up using the gallon straight. And straight turns out to be the dilution. So if you've got a small job, go ahead and buy it. You're paying more than muriatic acid because it's just dilute. You're paying for shelf space. But uh, you can use it all up and get rid of the jug and not sweat it. And I use this handy dandy um, sprayer. This sprayer has no metal parts in it. It's not until you get it, they call it a chemical sprayer and then they tell you don't use anything caustic or acidic in it. I mean, what the heck are they thinking? Uh, I used it anyway, and it's still there, so it did the job, and it was cheaper than the $50, $60 sprayers. It's a one-gallon sprayer. And when you start, you'll understand why I say I got myself a respirator with acid filters, because as soon as it hits the concrete, you're going to see vapors coming off of it. And unless you're in a place that's got really good ventilation, you don't want to breathe it. I mean, it's nasty. Uh, last but not least, you rinse with tons and tons and tons and tons of water. You want to dilute that stuff before it goes down your drains, especially if you have metal in your drains. My drains are completely plastic. My, everything's plastic because of um, ciders, acidic. I didn't want to deal with that. I'm moving around too much. Um, but I use a squeegee. I have a floor squeegee, and I use that to get all the water off, and that's helping the drawer fly dry more quickly. Last but not least, I forgot to take the foot off the bottom of the water tower. I'll pop the foot off tomorrow, do a quick little etch around the foot. It's probably fine so that I can put epoxy coat there. I just, I forgot. Okay, um, sorry for all the moving around, but that's it. Floor's drying pretty quickly. It feels like sandpaper underfoot, and that's what I want, not smooth. So... Last but not least, if you buy this stuff to etch your concrete floor, they tell you to dilute it. I don't recommend you waste your time. Take care. Bye-bye.